Hi, I'm David. And I'm Amy, and we are David and Amy Off Grid. We are camper vanners based in Scotland, and this is our self built camper van. So come with us, and we'll go and have a tour. So, just going to give you a quick tour of the, the outside of our van. Um, it's a Citroen really, 2010 model, 2.2 uh, engine with that. It's a Ford Puma engine that's in it. So, we bought this van 2016. It spent six months, it was just a panel van. We spent six months on the driveway and uh, converting it. And it's been on the road since about February. 2017 so we've had quite a few good years uh, using the van now so and we keep making changes to it and we keep uh, take, taking it apart and, and redoing things so that will continue so I'll give you a quick tour of the outside so on the outside of the van we cut in these bonded windows so the large window and then only last year we cut in the smaller window there at the which is above the kitchen area. Then here we've got the, these are vents for the fridge. I've got the winter covers on them at the moment, uh, just to, to keep it a bit warmer inside. This is the, so there's a three-way gas electric 12 volt fridge, so this is the, the flue for the, the gas operation of the fridge. Down here, take this cover off, we've got our 10 litre Truma Ultra Store water heater. So when it's on gas, then the cover has to come off. Also works on 240 volt electric. And then down at the bottom, so underneath the van we've got a water tank. That's a 70 litre water tank. So this is how you, you drain the water from the, the tank. On the roof, not sure if you can see it from here, but we've got three skylights at the top there and then I'll take you around the other side. So this is on the passenger side we've got the, again a bonded window, then we've got an awning light above that and then down at the bottom we've got a 50 litre waste tank under here and that's the the outlet to drain that down. And then over here we've got an electric hookup, so that's the 16 amp. So around the back we've got, at the top we've got a reversing camera integrated with the brake light. We've got two LED lights there that I can operate from the cab that lights up behind me when I'm reversing. The little Teletubby looking thing, that's a, a TV aerial. And then down at the bottom here we've got a tow bar, detachable tow bar. That lets us put the bike carriers on and then that's to fill up the, the gas bottle with uh, auto gas. So when you go to the petrol station you can use that to fill up the gas bottle. So, in the back of the van, it's like a small garage area. So, in the winter we use that for our skis, we use it for our, our hill walking poles, for our ramps. We keep all that up there. Uh, and then over here we've got, so there, this is the, the toilet. So that's where you fill the toilet up with fresh water. And in here, this is the cassette unit for the toilet, so you, this, this comes out and you, you take it to the chemical disposal points and we've got an Ikea bag there to put it in, just so it looks a bit tidier. Here we've got a litter picker because when we stay places like here, laybys, car parks etc, uh, we don't pay to stay the night so what we tend to do is we always litter pick anywhere that we stay. Um, just so that people don't blame us for leaving the waste and the campers, the camper community don't get the blame of, of waste which they generally, it's not them that's left it in the first place, it's usually 
a lot of people, but anyway, that's what we do. Here we've got 240 socket and a battery charger that charges up the battery. We've got an air suspension kit fitted, so that's the the input for that and the gauge. Over here we've got 240 volt electric. Here we've got the fuses for the 12 volt electric. That's a connection for the the TV aerial. Some more fuses down here, neutral bar, and then that's our leisure battery. Uh, so what happens is when the van's running, the alternator's charging the starter battery. There's a cable goes from the front. It comes through the fuse, goes to the the voltage sensing relay, and that then charges up the, the leisure battery when you're driving. So we do have a solar panel on the roof. It's a very small one. Uh, it just trickle charges both the batteries. So that relay does all the all the work really. And that battery, we've only got the one, and it, it, it lasts about three years, and then you need to replace it. So if we're driving, it charges up both batteries. If we're plugged in at home or plugged in on a campsite, then the charger charges up both batteries as well. So fingers crossed we've never been stuck yet. And then in here, this is where we, the, the gas bottle is. So, so that's the, the outside of the van really. That's how it looks. So I'll give you a tour of the inside of the van. So at the front, we've got two swivel seats. We obviously, they, they turn and face the rear so that we can use this as a lounge area. Bonded windows internally. We've got blinds fitted, so they just pull over like that. We've got these lights. These have got integrated USBs to charge things. Up the top, when the bed comes down, there's more lighting up at the top there. Then, down here, this is where we've got some storage. So, as well as all the, the tools and things, we've got a diesel heater in here. So that provides us with the uh, heat. And again, over here, we've got some more storage in that area. We've got more storage underneath the, the bedding area here. And also within this space, we've got the, the 10 litre Truma Ultra Store water tank that provides us with our, our hot water. So at the back of the van, we've got this sliding door here. And in behind here, this is our, our bathroom. So we've got our, our wash hand basin. We've got our chemical toilet, electric towel rail, and a shelf up there for for uh, towels, etc. And we've got our, our sort of skylight there. Now, this is a shower area, but what we do is we use this for storage. So we've got an extra rail fitted here. And what we do is we've got our pillows, our in suit carriers, and our windscreen covers all hang up there. And we also, in the summer, we use that to, to hang up our wetsuits to dry. So I'll let you see, I'll take all this out and let you see the shower. So I've just removed everything from the shower, just to let you see the, the shower uh, area. So really wanted a separate shower in the van because we do a lot of hill walking, a lot of skiing and kayaking. So this was quite a job to do. This is obviously the wheel arch that we've had to sort of construct it around. So uh, and this is all a white gel coat and then UPVC panels on the wall. And then we've got the shower track at the top there. So this gives you an idea. Obviously, when you're in the shower, you'd close the door, and that's how the the space looks. So it's it's quite good actually. And then what we use for the shower is this. So this can be used on normal tap, or it becomes a shower, and we use that to basically hook this up into here and that gives you a shower just like that so that's the shower and the toilet okay so I am in our kitchen area and first of all over this side of the kitchen we have our TV and this side which is on a swivel bracket which is brilliant because whether you're in the bed and it's dropped down or you're sitting in the seats TV's there. We've also got a couple of speakers here that's really good if we've got 
the radio on, then we've got the speakers playing into the back as well. So, kitchen area. We have two overhead lockers. So, in this locker, we've got all our dishes, cutlery, bags, tea bags, all this kind of stuff. And then in this locker, we tend to keep all our bread, cakes for David, because we need to keep them well fed, a porridge, things like that. So, two really good sized over lockers. This is a really nice tiling that we just did last year. Um, so I'm quite happy if that turned out really well. Here we've got control panels. So this is our water heater. So all we need to do is turn it, water heater comes on, turn it off. This is a 12 volt USB socket. Yeah, 240 volt for the water heater. And here's a 240 volt for the water heater. We've also got a socket if we're on a campsite, because we do occasionally go into campsites. The thing about the off-grid thing is that we mainly are off grid 95% yeah. of the time I would say because we do a lot of long weekends um, because we've got work commitments if we're going for longer holidays we go on some campsites and we have been in some brilliant campsites that we will share with you along this journey um, so we've got a couple of switches here for lights lights come on below, lights come on above and we have our socket here so here we've got a tap running water, hot or cold water depending if the water heater's on and this is our sink area Okay guys, so here we have our full size oven, um, so we have three gas burners and we have one electric element that we can use if we're on a campsite. We also have a grill in here and we've got a full size oven down here that's got two shelves. Now under here we also have a locker and that just basically has all our pots and pans in that locker. We've got another one here. It's just a sliding door. We're going to change these doors because we're not really that happy with these doors. But this is where we keep all our water that we use for um, making pasta or making our tea here that we just bring from the house. In Scotland, we actually call this council juice because in Scotland we don't have the same way of working the water as, you, as people do in England and other various parts of the country. Um, so we get our water free basically in Scotland, so it's called council juice. So this is our big 10 litres of council juice right here. Um, blue roll, things like that in here, clean products. Over here, we've got a really good sized fridge. I'm really happy with this fridge. So, the fridge can go into gas or it can go into electric here. Um, just take the pin out and we open it up. Um, so, really good sized fridge as you can see. All the chocolate again, David. And then all our food. I like to snack. <laughs> And then we've got a very small freezer. We don't really use the freezer very often, um, but as you can see, we do use the fridge for our salad and cheese and butter and things. So, decent sized fridge, quite happy with it. And then over this side of our kitchen, as I said to the TV, under the TV, we've got a triangle cupboard. Again, we're going to change these out. So, we're not, they're quite fiddly and things can get jammed in a roller. So, they were a, a solution at the time, but not working for us anymore. And we keep all our tins of food at the bottom because we don't like our tins up here in case it opens when we're driving and obviously tins of beans go everywhere. And then we've got two units for shelf well, two units for shelf eh, two shelves for clothes. And then we've got a full size wardrobe here where you can keep all our jackets and everything, handbags up the top. So this is our kitchen area. I hope you enjoyed that.